and books. In ancient China, there was a peasant's son named Yu Heng. From an early age, he wanted to study, but he was poor and had no money to go to school. He enjoyed reading. Yu Heng could not afford to buy a book, so he had to borrow books to read. During those times, the books were very expensive, and those who had books refused to lend them to others easily. Yu Heng started working for rich people. As a pay for his work, he asked them to give him books instead of money. He worked all day. It was only at noon that when he got a break from work, he had time to read a book. So, a book often took around 10 days to finish reading. Yu Heng was very worried, thinking that there was no time to read books during the day. He thought to read books at night. Pierce the wall to steal light. To read the books at night, Yu Heng needed a lamp and oil to burn, but his family was too poor to afford the oil. Depressed, Yu Heng sat down with his book, which he was reading during the day. Suddenly, he saw a ray of light at the back of his bed. It was coming through the wall. Quickly, he stood up and walked towards the wall to see where the light was coming from. It was coming through a small crack in the wall. It was coming from the neighbor's house, so Yu Heng thought of a way. He took a knife and started digging the wall. In this way, the light that shone through increased. He kept his book at a place where the light through the pole fell directly on it. Finally, he could read at night. Later, he became a great scholar. Never too late to mend. Once, there was a shepherd who kept a flock of sheep in a sheepfold. One morning, he went to the sheepfold and discovered that one of his sheep was missing. He looked at the sheepfold and found a hole in it. So he thought that the wolf must have sneaked in and carried away the sheep. His neighbor suggested to him, you should fix the sheepfold and cover the hole immediately. But the shepherd said, the sheep is already lost, so there is no use of fixing it now. The next morning, another sheep was missing. The wolf had again stolen the sheep through the hole. The shepherd regretted very much for not listening to his neighbor's advice. He thought it's never too late to mend. He mended the hole immediately. From then on, the wolf did not come and no more sheep was stolen. Wild Goose Once upon a time, two hunters went hunting. They saw a wild goose flying overhead. Immediately, one of the hunters placed an arrow in his bow. He aimed it at the goose. He said, That goose will make a fine stew. Stew, said the second one. It would be far better to roast it. Stewed, said the first hunter as he put down his arrow. Roasted, replied the other. They continued arguing for hours. Finally, they decided to go to their clan leader to decide the best way to cook that goose. The leader settled the argument by suggesting that whenever they caught the goose, half should be used for the stew and the other half roasted. That way, the needs of both would be met. The two hunters were pleased with the leader's suggestion and went out to shoot the wild goose. But by that time, the goose had flown away. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Bookhouse.